Sometimes old white men on my TV and young white men at my school like to tell me about abortion. Like if God wills a pregnancy, no matter the situation, honor his will or it's murder. As if they can ever know what an act of personal violence actually is. Once, in confidence, I told a friend I was almost raped at a party and he responded with, well, I'd rape you too. What? And at that moment, I realized I was never having children. I was never going to have a little girl and tell her that the world was against her. I was never going to have a little boy and worry that one day he would be what I ran from. To see the worst parts of my generation reflected in my future was not something I would facilitate. I was not going to be a statistic if I was already a victim, so I decided right then that there would be no baby for pro-life talents to latch onto. I was going to be smart. I was going to be contained. I was going to be strong. But no matter how hard I tried, I was not man. I did not have a built-in excuse for my behavior. I was not the physical embodiment of a rock-solid mountain. I could not say that I asked for it. So instead, I swallowed his words with a pill and pretended I didn't hear. I sat unflinching in faint slight amusement like I did each time they climbed on me. It did not matter what I said as long as my tone was somewhat agreeable. Sometimes when I laid there I count to a thousand. They don't notice the difference between pleasure and distaste or maybe they've chosen not to see it. Like either way, I am lucky to be a part of this. I was made for this and he was made to baptize me on dirt and leather seats. So my mouth is just a hole and my body is just a vessel. Everything that will come from my being is his and its own right. Like I am God's first failed abortion that birth from his ribs, like he prevents my choosing but provokes sin inside my stomach each time he pillages, taking me in small pieces and stunting my growth. A child that comes from this monster will only stay alive in my mind, because he will not give me a choice. I will not give him a weapon. So to my little girl and my little boy who I have chosen not to be, I'm sorry, but this world is not ready to handle something as fragile as love.